It's a good idea to have an understanding when you view the Dropbox folder list page that you know when you have submissions, did you grade or flag any of those submissions, and when are the due dates. It's also a good idea to understand what the icons represent to each of the name of the Dropbox folder. To get to the Dropbox folder list and the way to best manage your Dropboxes and to get to submissions is clicking on the Submission Review tab on the navbar, click Dropboxes. This is going to take you into the Dropbox folder list. You're going to see five columns. The first one, Folder, that's just the name of the Dropbox folder. Total Files. The total files, these are the number of files that have been uploaded by your students. This indicates that you have some mis submissions that need to be graded. So you'll see here, for example, in this Dropbox, I have five total files. In this Dropbox, there are three. And you'll notice that that means that I have five submissions to the Dropbox at this point. Unread files. This usually indicates the number of submissions that need to be graded. It is possible that you may still have, have an unread file and graded it because you clicked on the evaluate instead of the file name in the submission area. It's best practice when grading submissions to click the name of the file in the submission. If you click evaluate instead, you can still mark the file as unread by clicking on the red icon on the submission area. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click in the name of this, this Dropbox folder. And this will show me every student that has submitted. What you'll notice is that there's an evaluate. And you'll notice right here that if I click evaluate, this icon means that the uh, that this has been, um, I'm sorry, this icon means that this um, document is still unread. So I have a val I have I haven't published, and this one I have published. So publish means that the grade has been pushed to the grade book, but it still shows up as unread. So that would mean to me, if I look back at the folder list, that, oh, well, I still have three more that I need to grade. But then when I go into the submissions, in reality, I don't have three to grade. Any place that says evaluate is which ones I need to grade. And those, um, uh, you know, so I only have two to grade. So if you do click on evaluate, instead of clicking on the file name, so if I click on the file name to take me into this submission view, it automatically marks that file as red. And then that would indicate to me in my list that I don't have to grade those. So in this particular case, I did publish this, but I did not mark this as unread. Well, it's very simple. I can just click that icon to mark it unread. And now when I go back to the folder list, it indicates to me that I have two unread files, which would mean to me that I have two files that I still need to grade. The flagged files, this means that you have flagged a submission. One of the reasons for flagging a submission would be that you may want to revisit the submission uh, at a later time. The flagging helps you know that you want to review it later. And then finally, the due date here. Well, anyway, so you can see the flagged file right here. So I flagged one file. The reason I flagged that is because I saved this as a draft, because maybe I wanted to review this student submission again at another time. So I actually saved it as a draft, and then I clicked the little flag icon. So that's all I have to do is click this little flag icon. If I click off of it, then it's not flagged. So that's one way of flagging and why you would. Finally, again, the due date, that's the date the Dropbox folder is due to the student. Now that may be the due date or end date, because the end date is counted as kind of the due date, but it's different. Now there are also a few icons that are helpful to let you know if you have uh, linked the Dropbox to the gradebook, or turned on, turn it in, or you have group projects. This icon with the little ruler next to the folder name indicates that it's tied to the gradebook. If I place my mouse over it, it'll actually tell me it's tied to the gradebook and what, what is the name of that specific file, a specific grade item. If I don't see that icon, then those Dropboxes are not linked to the gradebook and tied to the gradebook, and you may want to then link them. If you see this other icon, this is the originality check is enabled. This means that you have turned on Turnitin for that Dropbox. 
and you may want to look at the step-by-step -step guide and review the tutorials about Turnitin. Finally, the last icon that's in this folder list is what's called the group submission. So it's this group submission icon. That means that this folder indicates that the submission grade for the Dropbox will be used by all students in the group. When you have a group Dropbox, that means that only one file can be put in there for the group, and then that, when you grade that, the grade goes in for all the students. So that's a little understanding of the Dropbox folder list. It's a really important thing to have this understanding um, for you to be able to manage your Dropbox submissions.